morning routines. There's a zillion videos out there on what to do, but in order for us to move forward, we also need to address what not to do. So in this video, seven things you need to stop doing every morning if you want to attract more success into your life. This is Jake Ducey with jakeducey.com and let's dive right into the video. Number one, checking social media and texting people back. Right when you wake up or when you're still in bed. Think about this. Do you think this is a successful action? When you wake up in the morning, to go like this. Oh, look. Susie's, Susie's got a picture of her cleavage here. Oh, okay. Oh, looks like Billy got a new car. Cool, cool. Oh, I have 12 text messages. It's never, ever, ever going to help you. One, clear your mind in a space to attract what you want, and two, to get you on the right foot. They've done so many studies that extended staring at screens causes fatigue and a lack of mental clarity. And if you wake up in the morning in the, when your subconscious is wide open in the morning, and the first thing you're doing is filling it with everybody else's life from social media, or thinking you need to text people back right away, you're moving immediately out of your higher values, goals, and vision for your life, and moving immediately into the novelties of the world. And you're moving immediately into the physical world. The greatest thing about the morning is that it's like, the reset button. You press the reset button, your mind is totally clear. You have the ability to put whatever you want in your mind, to focus on what you want, to get in harmony with, with, with your inspiration, with your highest values, to attract what you want into your life and to make an amazing day or to fill it with everything that isn't that important. But remember, you only have so much space in your mind. I don't even sleep with my phone uh, in, in the same area of the home. I put my phone downstairs on the opposite side of the house and I leave it there and I put it on airplane mode. I don't, it, I don't even let it near me. But, you know, if you're somebody, I know there's a lot of people that listen to my success hypnosis, just make sure you either have it on airplane mode or you at least have it on silent. And make it a habit to wake up in the morning without going to the phone and you'll see how much more energized you are. There's so many times when we wake up feeling great and we spend 20 minutes scrolling the phone in bed or answering texts in bed and our energy is sapped. Don't go to the phone right away. Number two, saying that you'll exercise later in the day. You know what happens when it gets to later in the day? Man, I'm so tired. I had so many things to do today. And we don't get to exercising. There are so many studies. I could bore you with studies or you could just go to Google and type them in yourself. And you can see that there's so much evidence behind mental clarity from exercising and an increase of dopamine and serotonin to increase your mood. There's so much evidence on it. And you gotta stop saying that you're gonna exercise later. And the thing that changed my life is when I said, even if I get nothing else done the entire day, I'm going to exercise. So what I invite you to consider is to try for 30 days to see how can you implement some type of exercise regimen in the morning, in the first couple hours of your day. I do it within the first uh, two hours absolutely every single day. And how can you incorporate that into your day to see where that takes you? Just give it an experiment, give it a try. Number three, complaining. I know there's a lot of things that suck to do every day, but as soon as you wake up in the morning and you start thinking about all the things that you don't wanna do and all the things that are wrong, what do you do? Your mind is just a momentum thing. Your mind is like a snowball effect. And when you get focused on what you don't want or what you don't want to do, your mind, your, it's called your RAS, your reticular activating system, it's a part of your brain 
There's billions of bits of information happening every single second. So based off of your dominant thought patterns, your RAS, your reticular activating system, focuses on the thought patterns that you are using throughout the day to make those the primary centers of attention. So when you get focused on the fact that you don't wanna do X, Y, or Z, or you don't have enough money, or you hate doing this thing or that thing, the RAS focuses on the same energy level types of things. And that's the old adage that, you know, when somebody stubs their toe out of bed, the day spirals. There's so much evidence behind that. And so what I invite you to do is before you get out of bed, say three things you're grateful for. If you have a romantic partner that you wake up next to or a roommate that you're in the same actual bedroom with, roll over and say, three things you're grateful for, tell me now. And have them tell you three things you're grateful for and then you say three things you're grateful for. I'm grateful that all my organs worked amazing. I mean, think about the fact that my heart worked while I was asleep last night. I didn't even have to do anything. I'm so grateful that I have this roof over my Think of three things you're grateful for. Say them out loud before you get out of bed. Get your mind focused on the positive to increase that feel-good chemical circulating through your body. Number four, not reading your goals. A lot of people will write their goals down. If you haven't written your goals down, write your goals down. But a lot of people will write them down, but then they won't even read them. Read them every single day. Your reticular activating system focuses on the things that it's constantly suggested to. You want to bring your goals to your attention. You want to get re-inspired, re-motivated. You want to remind yourself of your values and your priorities in your life. So in the morning when you wake up, read your goals out loud. If there's two goals, if there's four goals, take a few minutes and read them out loud. And you'll get such a deeper sense of inspiration for your day, for your week, for your life. Erase, checking, and reading social media posts and start reading your goals. Five, making your to-do list. Huh? Why is that bad? Do it the night before. Do it the night before. Before you go to bed, write down your top couple goals to accomplish. Don't make it crazy, don't put 40 things on it, just your top couple things to accomplish throughout the day. Do it the night before. You're gonna have such a more clear state of mind and you're going to be able to use like the magic of the morning as opposed to spending it trying to organize your day. Do it the night before and you'll see so much more progress in your productivity and clarity moving forward throughout the day. Number six, starting your day with bad energy. Ask yourself, do you carpool with somebody with bad energy? Do you turn the news on in the morning and it seems to like just be bad energy? Is there something that you're doing that might be kind of weighing you down? Start your day with amazing energy. Ask yourself this question. What would I have to do over my first hour in the morning before work or what have you to get my energy feeling absolutely amazing, to feel as happy and joyful and get as high a vibration as I possibly could? Ask yourself that question. Literally ask yourself the question, what would I have to do to get my energy, happiness, and vibration to the highest levels I could within the first hour or two of my day? And build your morning routine like that. Ask yourself that question. Given the time allotment that you have, how can you pack as much in to make you feel as amazing as possible? Generally, we think that we can't do that. And it's just that we haven't asked ourselves that question. When you get your energy to that place, it's gonna help every single other area of your life. Number seven, waking up with a relative amount of inconsistency in your time. So one day you wake up at six, the other day you wake up at seven, the other day you wake up at nine, the other day you wake up at four, the other day you wake up at this time and that time. We're creatures of habit. And however much we wanna deny that, we're creatures of habit. And you get used to having your body and your mind work in a certain way. And what I invite you to consider is picking a time. It doesn't need to be four o'clock in the morning or three o'clock in the morning. It might be seven o'clock, it might be eight o'clock, it might be nine o'clock, it might be six o'clock, it might be five o'clock. 
but try for 21 days to wake up at the same time every single solitary day. Your natural body clock starts to respond. And what happens is when we wake up at different times all the time, some days we feel great, other times we don't. Some days we feel awesome other, because our body isn't used to the consistency, our mind isn't used to the consistency. Pick a time for 21 days, you'll feel so much more inspired and energized once you get used to that. So this is Jake Ducey with jakeducey.com talking about seven things to stop doing every single morning to attract more of what you want in your life. Be sure that you press the subscribe button, download my free success hypnosis, Jake's Hypnosis, Dot com. Every morning, everyone's getting brainwashed by the media and the radio and their roommate and their neighbor and their boss. I always say brainwash yourself before the world does. I think it's one of the most important parts of a morning. So download my free success hypnosis, jakeshypnosis.com to train your mind for success, for abundance, for prosperity. It's totally free. jakeshypnosis.com. Press the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification in the corner. That's what notifies you for new videos. Comment down which of these steps you found most valuable to eliminate from your morning routine. I'll see you on the next video.